Hello, Bridget Ayer here with All About the Grace, and on this channel I talk about faith, culture, and media awareness. And really, um, I hope that this channel equips you to be a disciple, to share the love of Jesus with others, uh, because we want everyone to go to heaven. And really, we're all God's children, so um, everybody's welcome. Today, I'm going to be talking... Oh. And if you haven't, do please do click subscribe. There's a red button below. If you're not a subscriber, click that and then click the little bell and then you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. And I'm trying to upload a video every day during Lent on weekdays. And that's kind of been my goal all along is to do this. So we'll see how it's going and hopefully I won't kill myself in the process. But anyway, um, on that topic, I'm going to be... Um, talking today about time management and time management and decluttering is a topic that I am always struggling with but why time management is so important is because how you manage your time really allows you to have time for God and your loved ones and for myself, you know, I'm a mom, married mom, so I'm of the married vocation. And if I'm doing things that are not building up my domestic church, then I'm really wasting time, and it's pretty much a sin, you know, frankly. So, um, you know, whether it's binge watching or, you know, being gluttonous on social media or whatever, you know, there's so many ways to get off track. But this is going to be about time management and I want to share one thing with you um, if you haven't heard I have a new book um, breaking new ground discipleship using new media and it's really all about how to use digital media to share the gospel and um, I'm really happy about that I'm really proud that, that, that I was able to get that done it's really a work of the Holy Spirit um, I was basically just the uh, just the secretary that typed it all up anyway our today's topic is time management and I'm just gonna go through these um, this can really work for anybody but the, but the goal of this the goal of time management is really to grow in your relationship with God so here are things that I have used I have worked professionally in media um, and public policy for about 20 to 25 years both as a print journalist as a um, radio um, host producer as a television associate producer and news anchor so um, and I worked on a um, political media staff and I've run campaigns and I've done all sorts of stuff but so time management has always been something that I've worked um, to be better at just so that I can be more productive but for this video it's really about not wasting time so that you can really be a better disciple so here are some tips that I have for you okay number one and these are things that honestly have worked really well for me over pretty much my all, my whole career both as being a mom you know cause you gotta be a good time manager there too okay and professionally okay number one group like tasks together for instance whether it's me looking at social media or checking email or doing work for Catholic radio or whatever the task is rather than going from one thing to the other just do it all at the same time so do all your email at the same time do all your social media check-ins at the same time whatever it is group like tasks together do all your filing at the same time do all your grocery shopping at the same time that kind of thing okay number two do the most difficult task first sometimes that's hard because difficult tasks you just want to put off I know I do I always have something on my day that is just really unpleasant that I don't want to do but I do it first I force myself to do it first so that I can get it done and then it that kind of um, 
serves as a catalyst because you're like, woo, I'm done with that. So now you can go on with the things that are not so um, difficult. Okay, number three. Know when your best time is to work. For instance, for me, and this has changed throughout my career, I used to be a night owl. I could just crank things out at night, no problem. I'm still, I still can do that. But the best time for me, if I have like a hard project to do, is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. That's where I can really crank. So um, know when your best, when you are your best, and try to make sure that you're spending the, that time frame doing what you need to get done. And you, this can be apply if you're a mom, if you're, you know, no matter what your occupation is, to try to do those tasks that you have to do during that time frame when you really work best. Number four, multitasking. Okay. That is really about the most inefficient thing you can possibly do. And believe me, I have spent almost my entire life multitasking. It really isn't more efficient. Do one thing at a time. Do one thing, finish that up, go on to the next thing. Do not do multiple things at the same time. You think you can do it, and maybe you can, but it's really not very efficient. So do not multitask. I have to tell myself that because I like to multitask. Plan the night before. Whatever it is, whether you're a mom, a teacher, obviously, a, you know, lay out your clothes the night before, whatever. I always plan my day the day before. I know exactly what I'm going to do when I wake up. I have my whole day planned out. God laughs at it, but... Um, I have my whole day planned out. Then when I wake up, I hit the ground running. I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to figure out what we're going to make for dinner. I don't have to um, figure out which client I'm going to work for first. I just, I've already got that figured out. Number six, enlist help. Whether you are, you know, a mom working in your family or, you know, an employee somewhere, wherever you're at, figure out how you can get help if you need help to do a various project if you need help. Um, you don't have to do stuff yourself, typically. Um, maybe you're working on a team, maybe you, you work in an office and some people aren't doing you know, you're, in an, you're doing more of the work, or let's say you're doing a, a, a team homework project, you know. Um, I think a lot of people are very reluctant to ask for help. I don't know why, but um, just enlist help if you can and see what help you can get. Number seven, say no. Most of the time, people don't like to say no. They don't like to say no. And they feel uncomfortable saying no, but saying no is really important to time management. If I said yes to all the things people ask me to do, I mean, I would never do it, get anything done that God's calling me to do. And I wouldn't have any time for my family. So I think you just have to be really firm about your yeses and your noes. Number eight. I said this before. <laughs> one task at a time until it's finished rather than you know multitasking you know so one task at a time until it's finished if at all possible I know sometimes you depending on if it's a long-term project you aren't gonna get it done in one day but have a stopping point for that day and then okay you pick it up the next day so number nine this is very difficult depending on what your where your where you work or your home life. Shut out all interruptions. Now there are some of those things that you can control. Turn off your phone, put it on silence, don't be checking your email, don't be um, you know, 
tell someone to hold all your calls if you are an executive and if you're not just put your phone on silence sometimes you cannot avoid interruptions but even for like an hour like I'll do that during my peak time where I'm trying to work I will not answer the phone as tempting as it is I will not respond to any texts I will just do what I'm doing so that way I can be a lot more in efficient at what I'm trying to get done and then number 10 is do less to do more I talked about this before over here on my credenza I have a lots of lists and files and I operate off of lists and if you could see my master list I have honestly on it like probably about a hundred things I kid you not and I have like like 10 categories I will only try to do like maybe two or th three things on that list so by doing fewer things I actually get more done because I'm a lot less stressed out because I think oh well I can I can get those I can get those three things done or I can get that one thing done depending on what it is so well, those are my tips and really these tips for time management can be used pretty much in your home life or in your office or work life but really the purpose of this is so that you can have more time to focus on your relationship with God so the more organized I am the more I am not wasting time on frivolous activities the better um, parent I am, the better spouse I am, and the better um, disciple I am. So hopefully these tips, even if one or two help you out, um, then that's great. So thanks so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.